Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. Don't forget to make yourself a cup of tea, because today we have very interesting stories, and one of them is a story about OP with her device that helps her cope with her disease, and a kid who wants to play with that device. Please subscribe if you haven't and I hope you'll enjoy it. I went to my local bakery after school to grab a cake for my mom's birthday. It was a custom cake that was put on reserve. I walked in the bakery and told them I had a pickup order. When the worker went to go grab the cake EM and her non-entitled kid walked into the bakery and began walking around the shop. When the worker comes back and hands me the cake, EM walks up to me and said. EM. Hey that's a nice cake you got there. Me. Thank you, it's a red velvet with. EM. Do you think I could have it, I don't see it on any of the shelves. Me. This is a custom order, you're going to have to order one yourself. EM. But that takes too long, I want this one. I turned my back to her and began to walk away, until she grabbed my shoulder and turned me around. Then things go from 0 to 100 real quick. EM. Listen here young man, you're going to give me the cake now. Me. No, it's for my mom's birthday. EM. I don't care, me and my son wanted. I look over at the kid, who obviously doesn't want the cake. Eventually the worker comes over and asks what the problem is. EM. I want that cake. W. Ma'am, you're not getting that cake. EM. Yes I am, take it from him. W. No, I'm not going to do that. EM. Fine I'll do it myself. EM grabs the cake box and tries to tug it away from me, even though I'm 6 feet tall. She's screaming while attempting to get the cake from my hands. Eventually I just push her off and she falls into a bread rack. Everybody in the shop, 4 or 5 people, couldn't help but laugh. EM then screamed. I'm done with this crap. And stormed out of the shop with her son. The worker apologized for what just occurred. She found a perfect way to embarrass herself, and she did that really well. I just don't get it, why don't such people want to learn from their mistakes? It doesn't sound that hard, why are they continuing to be selfish and unsympathetic people? Background info. I'm a type 1 diabetic and have had diabetes since I was 11, and no, I did not get diabetes because I was big, it is genetically inherited. I have a machine that basically supplies me with medication every second of every day to keep my blood sugar stable. When I eat food, I have to type in the amount of carbohydrates in the meal into the machine, and I will be given a dosage of my medication via this. The device is centered around my stomach and is hidden by my shirt until I have to manually type in the carbs to the device. The device is called an insulin pump. I need this device, no two ways about it. Now onto the story, cast. Me. Me, EM. Entitled Mom, EK. Teenage Crotch Goblin, NW. Nice worker, PO. Police worker. So, I'm out at a restaurant, when my food order arrives, I have to type in the carbs on my insulin pump when EM and EK get into the story. I see the EK staring at me from another table when he says something to EM, which I can't make out. The EM comes up to me and says. My son likes your phone, give it to him, and you can probably buy a new one later. I then reply. This is a medical device, I am type 1 diabetic, I need it to survive. EM replies. No you are not, laughing. You are not big enough. I try to explain that type 1 diabetes is genetically inherited, but I should have known EM has half a brain cell. EM. Stop making up excuses and give it to him now. Me. Lady, I just want to eat, please leave me alone. EM. Not until you hand over the phone. Me, quite annoyed now. Please leave me alone or I will talk to the workers here. The EM doesn't stop, so I go to the waiter who has been serving me, and before I get a word in, the EM says. He stole my kid's phone, arrest him now. I tell the worker the whole story and show him that my insulin pump is not a phone, and lo and behold, the worker is also a type 1 diabetic. He tells the EM to leave me alone, or the police will be called. All the while this is happening, EK has been screaming about the game he has been playing on his Switch, cursing at it and making a racket, bothering other customers. The EM says. I know the manager here, he will have you fired if you. NW. Lady, the manager is my uncle, I have never seen you ever before, leave this young man alone now, before I have to ask you to leave. The EM storms back to her table. Wait, you thought this was over? As EM is walking back to her table, the EK loses it. 
he seems to have lost whatever game he was playing and flings his switch at a framed poster against a wall where a couple were sitting and the glass shattered over the woman's arm, causing bleeding. Everyone is furious, the police are called and the EM and EK are taken away and the couple are pressing charges and everyone there got a coupon. I hope to never encounter this scenario again, although it was a great feeling to see EK and EM being taken away. Even if there was a real phone, she thought OP just gave her phone to this kid because he wants to. I'm just shocked how EM confident and stands her ground. Does she really think she is the center of the universe? So this happened a few months ago. It was my daughter and myself. My oldest daughter, whom is 10, has cerebral palsy and it's severely physically and mentally disabled. Basically she is like a 6-month-old baby in a 10-year-old body. She cannot walk, so she has always used a wheelchair. It was a Saturday, so the target was pretty packed and fortunately I found a handicap spot open. So I park and begin unloading my daughter's wheelchair out of the back of my sub when an extremely obese woman with a handicap mirror placard pulls up behind my car and rolls down the window. There are kids bouncing around in the back of her car, so I assume she is a mom. The conversation went like this. BM. Excuse me, ma'am. Me assembling the wheelchair, not looking up immediately. EM louder. Ma'am. Me looking up. Yeah. EM. I don't know if you noticed, but this is a handicapped parking spot. I understand you have a small child that requires a stroller, but I'm disabled and I need this spot, so you'll need to park in another spot not designated for a handicapped person. B. I'm fully aware this is a handicapped spot, this isn't a stroller it's my daughter's wheelchair. EM. I don't see a handicap placard in your window. I move over showing her my handicap license plate. That's because we have a handicap plate. BM. Well even if your child is, uses her hand to do the in quotation signal, handicapped, you're not, so you really don't need that spot. You could easily park in the back of the lot and load her up and walk a few extra feet to the store. What is your daughter's disability? I don't think her disease counts as being truly disabled like myself. My diabetic nerve pain and back pain make it excruciating to walk long distances. So you see that's why you should give me your spot. At this point I'm kind flabbergasted. Not only did this woman just assume that my child was autistic, which she isn't, she just assumed that my child and myself don't need accommodation. Now I'm pretty pissed. Me. Listen lady, I'm sorry the handicap spots are full at the moment, but I'm not moving. It's none of your business what my child's disability is, and in the time you've sat here harassing me over my spot, you could have looked for another spot. The M turns red with anger. You are discriminating against me because you see that I'm overweight and assuming I'm just fat and lazy. Me. I never said anything about your appearance. The M yelling now. You are a freaking idiot. You think because you are a crappy mom that doesn't discipline your child that everyone else should cater to your poor decisions. My tax dollars pay for this spot and people like you just abuse the system to get a free ride. Again flabbergasted because this is a bizarre ass rant. Me. I really don't know what to tell you. I'm not moving and I'm not going to argue with you about it. At this point we have a crowd of onlookers. She keeps yelling and I just ignore her and start loading my daughter into her chair. Finally after my child is all strapped and I look up at her and she is super red and sweaty. She then yells that my daughter is the ugliest child she has ever seen and an African-American woman who was watching this apparently has had enough and she unloads on the woman and murders her with words. The woman peels away down the aisle and I notice a Jesus sticker on the back of her car. I tear up. I've never been treated that way before, especially concerning my disabled child. The African-American woman whose name I learn is Cynthia, notices me crying and comes over to hug me, she was so incredibly sweet. I thanked her quite a few times for coming to mine and my child's defense. She asks if she can give my kiddo a hug and I'm like of course. Anyhow Cynthia cheers me up, she is extremely witty and got me laughing extremely hard and we walk into the store together and I do my shopping. I am not good with confrontation, so I'm so incredibly thankful for Cynthia stepping in to defend us. As far as I know, handicap spots are just closer to the entrance, but wider, so you can park a wheelchair next to the car. I suppose that woman doesn't know it and probably she doesn't care. This story takes place a few years ago in a mall quite far from my hometown. 
A little backstory my dad loves everything retro. He is always blasting old music, quoting old movies, but most of all he loves old retro video games. He talked a lot about this off-brand gaming console his dad got him as a kid, and at the time he didn't understand it was cheap and off-brand, but he loved it so much. Since he was young, and the console was not Nintendo, Sega or a well-known company like that, he didn't remember the name of it and couldn't find it at any store even with the description he gave. I, like my father love video games. I mostly play new next-gen games, but I still appreciate the old stuff. I wanted to buy either an Xbox or PS4, either one I bought was gonna be so expensive and I wanted to get one cheap. I decided to use Craigslist and I searched up video game console just to see which console I could get a better price for. While scrolling through I noticed some retro stuff and I got to thinking maybe someone was selling the console my dad said he had as a kid. When I typed in the description, there it was, someone had posted one that fit his description exactly. The guy was selling it for about $75. I messaged the guy and he seemed pretty nice, we planned to meet at this mall near his town that was about a 45 minute drive away. He told me he wasn't sure all the cords and stuff were there and at the mall I could buy a wire if I needed one. I got to the mall and we set up the console in a cafe next to a games top. We set it up it works great and we make the deal. I'm not sure if this is the exact one my dad asked for, even though it was exactly what he described, but I knew he would be happy nonetheless. Before I started packing it up I wanted to play a little. This is where the EM, entitled mom of the story and her 8 or so year old son come up to me. The kid notices the game I was playing and said it looked really fun. EM noticed me playing and walked over. EM? Hey what game are you playing? Looks fun. Me. Oh I'm not sure, I just bought this console. EM. How much was it? Me. Well, I paid $75. EM. Awesome. Did you get it at this game's top? She motions toward the store right next to us. I was getting weird vibes even though nothing weird had happened in our conversation. Me. No, they probably don't sell it there, I got it from someone else. She got an angry look on her face. EM. Who did you buy it from? Me, I got it off Craigslist. EM, not where, from who? Me, why do you need to know? She did not not like that. EM, listen. I want to buy my son a console for his birthday, but the new ones are all just too expensive. We have been to three different stores and everything costs $300 or more, which is just crazy for a single parent to afford. I wouldn't expect a kid like you to understand. Now tell me who the person you bought it from was and give me their number. I want to see if they are selling another one. At this point I just want out of this whole conversation. I wouldn't want the person who sold me this console to give my number out to random people, so I'm not going to give EM his number. I start packing up the console and keep the conversation going until all my stuff is packed so I can leave the cafe and get out of there. B. I don't think he has any more to sell. I use Craigslist to find one so if you just open your phone and EM. What are you doing with the console? Me. I'm just putting it away. EM. Listen, let me just buy it from you. I need to get my son a gift and I don't have much time. She takes a step closer and I start scoot backwards because I don't want anything to happen to the gift and I hate when people are too close to me, it gives me anxiety. So when she grabs my arm I immediately pull away out of fear, letting go of the game. She grabs the game and moves it to the other end of the cafe table, so I can't reach it. BM. Listen I will pay you for it. My son's birthday was a few days ago, and so I need this gift right now. I'm running out of time so just listen to me. She pulls out her wallet and I realize if I don't start being aggressive, she might take off with my dad's present. I stand up and reach the other end of the table. Me. Maybe you should have planned on getting a gift before your son's birthday, instead of trying to steal one from a stranger. She then snags the system from my hands and hands it to her son behind her, so I can't get a hold of it. BM. I'm not stealing it. I will pay you what you got it for. She forces two twenties and a one dollar bill into my hand and then goes over to my bag to get the controllers and wires I had already put away. At this point I'm furious, she is trying to pay me less than what I just paid for a console that they don't make anymore, and judging by the fact the Craigslist post was up for 6 months with no competition, it was safe to assume this was the only way I could get this console for my dad's birthday. I go to the kid and take it back from him. 
I did it a little aggressively because everything was happening so fast and I panicked. The second I took the console back the kids started crying and now the entire cafe was watching. The mom spun her head around, saw her kid and her new audience of people. BM. Why are you stealing my son's game? She dropped the controllers and she ran over to her crying child, later I found out that one controller cracked when it fell. Me. It's mine, not yours. BM. I paid you for it, so now it's mine. Either you give me my money back or you can't have it. I pointed to the money she tried to give me that I placed on the table. Me. Take it. I never agreed to give it to you so now I'm going to take my stuff and leave. EM. No, it's now my son's console. I could tell she was about to do something like call a thief when another customer chimed in saying something like, lady, it's not yours. EM looked at all the faces staring at her. I assume she came to her senses because she picked up her son and just left. I grabbed everything, put it in my bag and scurried away as fast as I could. To finish my end of the story I went back home and wrapped the gift. On his birthday I gave it to my dad and he was so happy he cried. I got the right one. He was so ecstatic I found the right one and the only time I had ever seen him happier was in videos of his wedding day and my birth. I didn't get my own gift, but seeing my dad's face when he saw that I had gotten him a gift and I had listened and cared about him was worth more than any game or console I could buy. I think it's important that I say something about this whole experience. When I talked to this mom I didn't see a nasty idiot. This mom was in a frantic panic and when she said I stole her son's console, I think she truly believed she was trying to do the right thing for her son. Not that this is any reason for behavior like this, but at the moment I wasn't able to see that this was a person who was a single mother, just trying to find a game she could afford and would make her son happy. In life it's important to remember that everyone has their own story and it's important to remember in the end we are all human, even though some people don't act like it sometimes. I hope I don't run into her or anyone like that again. But I do wish the mom found a gift for her son and they were able to celebrate his birthday happily, just like I got to with my dad. I'm glad OP was able to keep that psycho thief lady from stealing your dad's vintage console. Wish I could have been a fly on the wall to see him open it and set it up and start playing. Well guys, that's it for today. If you end up enjoying this video please consider subscribing, and if you missed the last episode on the channel I'm gonna link it right here, the story is about an OP's family who destroyed the birthday celebration for OP for the rest of OP's life, since OP was a 10 year old girl. Check this out if you haven't, and I'll see you in my next video.